So my flexi mounts TV mount arm came today. Um, we may just do this little video and then add the install video later or I might merge the two together. I'm not sure. Either way, we'll show you what we have in just a second here. This thing weighs a ton and that's awesome because it's going to tell me that I've got a quality product here. You know, when you're buying something that's going to hold your TV, you want to know that it weighs more than a cup. Wow, that thing is heavy. <laughs> that's good. That's what we want. That's quality. So this is the flexi mount. Um, that's just a little dust from the cardboard. That ain't nothing. Oh gosh, that is sturdy as heck. Wow, I was worried a little bit that it might not hold up to all the motion in my RV. No, this is gonna be this is gonna be fine. Um, we'll be doing an install video of this soon. This is going to help me out a ton with this situation. I don't know if the arm is gonna mount down at the bottom, the top. I'd like the top, but I don't want to cause any leaks, or possibly the side. However we do it, it's just going to change everything. Um, so yeah, that's awesome. Flexi mounts are awesome. <laughs> gotta love it. Go like their page if you haven't yet. They've got a Facebook page. I don't know if they've got a YouTube, but... I know some of you have got to be getting bored of these videos with me just working on my van and staying at Walmart's. Um, van, I said van, it's a motorhome, same difference, just bigger. Uh, just wanted to let you guys know that if you hang on, it won't be long and we'll start getting back to nature and doing some more fishing, prospecting, hiking, that kind of stuff. So if you can stick with me, the tone of the channel will change as the seasons change. I get so into things, sometimes I forget I wanted to film it and show everyone. So. Here's the old TV. You can tell by the dirt, it's a little bit old. The dust. Um, this is the arm. This is where we put it in. That wood was not very thick, so we put this piece of wood with a whole bunch of screws so it's attached to a larger surface area. Hopefully that will uh, hold. We've still got to put a few more screws in the mount. Right now we're just lining everything up to make sure that we can get the angles we want. This will come off in a minute. We want to make sure that it's going to tuck tuck safely inside when I'm done. But yeah, I'm, I'm real impressed with this flexi mount so far. Um, okay, so this all this wood here is going to come out as soon as I figure out where that last screw is. There it is. Um, we have this wood stacked here to screw the stand onto and to raise it up above there so that I could, wouldn't so it wouldn't cut out the bottom half of the screen. We've got I believe enough screws in there. Maybe I should have used washers, but I think that's going to be fine. Um, this thing has removable plates here that the wires go down so that they don't just hang around like a tangled mess. Just another quick thing I wanted to show everyone. I use these on everything. I don't know how well you can tell. These ones have been reused several times, but that's a star head. A package of them, quite, you know, you get quite a few for like uh, three, four bucks. You get even more for six, seven dollars and a really big box for like 10 or 11 uh, come they all come with a special bit that's the only thing I'll use anymore I, I, I freaking hate Phillips head uh, flathead Allen wrench stuff is cool but uh, I've been using the star head on just about everything I know it's gonna piss off people who get my stuff later and they don't have the right bit to remove things but hey I'd rather uh, them have that than have to cut the bolts off because they're 
Phillips is going to strip the bolt out anyway, so. Okay, so we've got the system set up. It will come out and come closer to me for if I'm gaming. It'll tilt down if I'm sleeping or, you know, not sleeping, but laying down. Um, it'll also fit inside and set back a little bit for when I want to watch TV. And it will also fold in and tuck in between my clothes. I'm still going to have to find something to cover the screen so it doesn't get beat up by clothes hangers, although I think I, I kept it at a low enough level that, well, maybe the top of the screen on some of these heavier or more worn out hangers, I might just move those. Um, the wires tuck in fairly nice. I don't think when they designed this they were expecting people to have quite so many wires. It was a tight squeeze, but it, it fit, and I've got wires for a lot of different stuff, as you can tell seems to be mounted fairly securely. Um, I'm going to pull that out, clean that up, make a little bit more room down there, and then start straightening these wires and everything up once we have a little bit more room. We might add that to the video, but that's pretty basic, uh, cleaning things up and straightening wires. I don't think I have to add that to my video. You guys get, get that, I'm sure. <laughs> We almost forgot one last thing, and that is the trim pieces that I didn't leave room for. That's okay. That's all about looks. But they do provide this so that if it's in your house, you don't have to worry about having just the bare hardware showing. That's not going to be a big issue for me. Uh, not enough for me to undo this and move it over. It's kind of a bummer, though. I would like it to... I don't know. We might someday get bored and and put those on, but yeah. So yes, the whole thing does fit between my shirts, like I was hoping. None of the hangers are going to bother the screen. They give you a Allen wrench, you can tighten these up, but I'm going to be moving it so much, I don't think I'm going to be tightening anything. They're made for a home application, uh, so uh, it's got plenty of room to clear the door. This is going to be awesome. Now I can even watch my TV from the other direction. You know how I tell you I've got too much stuff? Well, you see what I'm talking about now. Stuff, stuff, stuff. It's going. A lot of it's gone into storage, some of it's gone into into the project you know this cleared out a box the vents that cleared out three boxes so you know, there's the box for the flexi mounts up there that's the cat area you can see killer sleep in there and you can see the cat food container back over there these two items actually go in the closet um but yeah it's all gonna work out good so yeah in life do whatever you want and don't let anyone tell you what to do Unless it's your cat telling you that you've got to keep this box, then you should probably listen.